Okay. All right. Well, first, state your name. My name is Ronnie Malo. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? Nothing, really. I'm retired. I was a retired lineman from Lecter Company. I took up a hobby of stained glass work when my wife was nagging me about it. <laughs> yeah. It all started off for, for before my granddaughter, the producer right here, is, was born. She wasn't even thought of. We took a trip down the Cape and looked at a little gift shop, and there was a little manger in there. It was just made of plastic. So I said, I could make it a better one than that. So eventually I, she started nagging me. Well, not nagging me, but asking me nice, where, where is it? So in those days, there was a store down, down city. I think it was right where the uh, Johnson & Wales is now. It used to call American Handicrafts. It used to have everything in it, glass and all kinds of stuff, leather, anything you wanted for hobbies. So I went down, I got a book on how to cut glass and how to do it. And I got some glass from a, an old window pane over here. Uh, he used to do uh, windows. So he said, go to my trash barrel and take all the glass you want. So I took a lot of glass and I started cutting glass and how to do it, how to cut curves and stuff like that. And then I finally got enough courage up to start cutting the colored glass, or they call it stained glass in those days, I don't know what they, and I finally made a manger, and then I made another manger, and another manger, and I made another stuff, and made some lampshades, and all kinds of stuff. Of course, my beloved granddaughter, she's got two lamps that she never picked up that I made of, and she's got that guilty complex now. <laughs> See? So, what is your process? How exactly did you go about when making a piece? Well, first of all, what you do, you get a, you get a book on it. And I got plenty of books down here. Let's see if I can get one out. This here, all you got different things, even all kinds of all kinds of, this is for uh, America around. You can buy the books, they're all patents in them. Or you can go online and get patents from S Spectrum Glass. They have little towns that you can buy, build. And lampshades, all kinds of lampshades. What do you like about stained glass? Oh, it's relaxing. To me, it's relaxing. Right? It's something to do. I can sit down here and think about something I can do with it. And gee, can I bend it this way? Or can I make a cut a piece this way? Or can I make certain things out of it? Let me just try it. Yeah. Well, what do you dislike about it? You bleed a lot. <laughs> you go through a lot of band-aids. Let's put it that way. Get these little, after you cut the glass and stuff like that, you get these, what they call shards. And you can't really see them. So you put your finger on them and dig them out of your finger. Well, what inspires you when you make a piece? I don't know. It's just something like... Just I saw, well, let me try this here. I got started expanding my... When I got retired, I, got, I bought myself a kiln which is this over here and it heats up the glass and goes up to almost 5,000 degrees so I started making little droplets like this with just pieces of glass and I made these here these are what they call I guess uh, the press holders put them on the table and Stuff like that. That's all melted glass in there. All different kinds. Uh, what are your plans for the future concerning your stained glass making? I'll just keep on doing it. <laughs>